is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure leaks from you guys and uh, again this morning man woke up feeling god awful again same issues same like stomach like issues it went away for a day and then it came back i don't know what the deal is man i used to deal with this like 10 12 years ago when i was younger and like a kid and i got rid of it and now it just seems to be coming back here but i'm gonna curse that and get that get, get that ish out of the way but yeah woke up feeling terrible so i apologize for the late upload again guys but all this news today is going to come to us from my man unstable 1047 still not feeling the best so i'm going to do my best to get through this video for you guys i really appreciate you guys tuning in tons of stuff here a lot to get through so we're just going to go ahead and dive straight into it guys not only a huge shout out to my man unstable 1047 and christian but also a huge shout out to pain maker figs on instagram it's like pain.maker.figs on instagram huge shout out to him for making this video possible as well guys but we're not going to cut any more bs we're going to dive into it before i vomit again so starting off first guys we have Seth Rollins Elite Series 86. You guys know it is the SummerSlam wave. We talked about this multiple times here on the channel. When we talked about the SummerSlam figures being leaked and that Seth Rollins was in the wave, we talked about, you know, there's only a few it could be. It could be the all-black attire, it could be the Thanos gear, or it could be the Rey Mysterio-inspired gear from this past year in 2020. So on the forum, somebody asked Action Figure Attack, the guy who works at Mattel, Steve, he is an absolute beast. Somebody asked him, will we be getting a new head sculpt or something like that? And he replied, Yes, I think a new Seth Rollins head sculpt is inevitable. And you guys know what Thanos likes to say, or what he says in the in the MCU. He says, I am inevitable. So was that a play on words? Was that a little pun right there tying together with the Seth Rollins figure with Elite Series 86? Are we going to be getting a Thanos figure in Elite 86 of Seth Rollins? God, I hope so, because you guys know the basic we got was just, it was green. It didn't look very good. The head sculpt was good, but I think we're going to get a new head sculpt, which I can't wait to see, and the Thanos gear that we've been waiting on. It was one of the options in the fan takeover wave. We ended up getting the WrestleMania 35, but I had to plug this in, guys. I knew that you guys would be excited about that. So, Elite 86 looks to be a SummerSlam Thanos Seth Rollins, but we'll have to see about that, guys. Next up on the list, we have a two-pack, a new Elite two-pack, and all of these screenshots and these leaks come from this website that Christian said is not good to pre-order from, like their times and their dates are off, but they did list these figures, and a lot of these, I'm not going to cover them immediately. I'll cover the ones we already kind of knew about later on in the video so we can get all the new stuff out of the way first but all of these come from a screenshot from those websites where they have leaked these images or where they have leaked these listings guys so let's go ahead two pack elites rock and mankind now there's a bunch of options that come in our head here but the top two options that i would have to guess would have to either be the rock and sock connection you guys know we got a defining moments figure of the rock in the rock and sock connection way back when now it could be a rock and sock connection or it could be from when the rock beat the absolute hell out of mankind with chair shots to the skull that you know he handcuffed his hands behind his back and literally just tattooed his skull with a with a steel chair multiple times it has to be one of those so if i had to guess it would be definitely one of these and i honestly would like to see the rock in the workout gear with the black shirt and the black pants and you know come with a steel chair maybe a dented up steel chair mankind handcuffs there's a lot of cool things you could do right there so i would say the uh not the rock and sock connection but the rock chair shot moment is what i would say so there's the two pack from that next up guys we have a trish stratus figure now this is either going to be an updated or flashback, obviously, but a flashback could be a bunch of different gears. I plugged one here on the screen for you, or it could end up being an updated Trish Stratus from what we got with her match with Charlotte from SummerSlam, I do believe is what that was. SummerSlam matchup Trish versus Charlotte. I think that would be a really good figure as well. We get an updated Trish Elite. Last updated Trish Elite that we got was way back when in the Hall of Fame Series 1, so this would be a very good idea to get a new Trish Stratus in here. I would love to see that for sure. So Trish Stratus is another Elite that we are going to be getting. Up next, guys, we have a Matt Riddle figure. Now, for me, I think Matt Riddle should probably be in the New York Yankees gear. That is the gear that I would choose for him. I really like that gear. The only thing that sucks about this is you guys know if you own the Matt Riddle, it's such a trash formula, right? It is not a good formula. I can't stand that formula. Hopefully... I'm not even going to get into it. Like, there's no hopefully, Brad. They're not going to change the formula. I know they changed Trash Corbin like two or three times, but I don't know, man. I'd be very, very shocked if they changed the formula. It's a very odd formula. I don't like my Matt Riddle because of that. If I got this new Matt Riddle, I'm probably going to have to do a bunch of crazy stuff to fix it up, and it's so annoying to have to do that, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do, guys, and uh, I may just go back to my Elite 45 Matt Riddle custom that I made out of the Seth Rollins. Next up, guys, we have a Miz figure. Now, we already knew
knew that Elite 86 was going to be carrying a Miz figure, and we already knew that that, you know, the Elite 86 wave is the full SummerSlam wave. They've already came out and said it. We know that Seth Rollins is going to be in Elite 86. That's why we think it's the Thanos gear. Triple H is in his SummerSlam gear. Carmella, like, we know it's in SummerSlam gear. So if this Miz Elite is right here, I highly doubt they're going to release a Miz so soon after this. So I would guess that this is going to be Elite 86 Miz, and it's going to be in the SummerSlam 2018 attire. I think it's 2018. I could be wrong about that. But I think it's going to be the white and black attire that he wore versus Daniel Bryan when Daniel Bryan wore his Seahawks-inspired gear in the blue, lime, green, gray, white, whatever that was. So that is what I would guess for this Miz. I think it's pretty much confirmed at this point that this is what it's going to be. And we did get a basic of this. I already know that we got a basic of this in the SummerSlam basic line. So pretty much just going to convert that basic into an Elite, and that's what we'll get here. Next up, guys, we have a couple Rey Mysterio figures. We have a main Elite Rey Mysterio, and then we have a top picks line Rey Mysterio. Now, for Rey Mysterio, there's so many different attires. This man rocks a new gear every time he's on TV. Really hard to come up with and, and, and recreate all of these. Like, you guys know I love to do my timelines with all the different gears through the years of all my favorite talents, and if I was to do that for Rey Mysterio, I'd probably have like 400, 500 figures, elite figures lying across the shelf in elite form of all the different looks he's rocked. It's literally impossible to probably get all of those. That'd be an amazing collection to see, but I think it'd be borderline impossible unless you just dedicated a full year of your life and money into doing that. But nonetheless, two different Rey Mysterios. I plugged in some different gears we could get. I'd love to see the match, the eye for an eye match gear in the lime green and gray. I think that'd be a really badass one. And then his US Championship probably going to be one of his as well. So we'll have to see about that, see what the case is there. But next up is going to be Drew McIntyre. And the only gear that I can really think of, I doubt it would be in his kilt attire. But if it is his kilt attire, that would be cool with me. But I think a Royal Rumble gear. We never got his Royal Rumble gear where he won the Royal Rumble. So maybe the black gear with the purple crosses on the sides. That would be a really nice gear to give us. Drew McIntyre, top picks line, is another elite we're getting. Next up is going to be John Cena. Now for John Cena, I have no idea what the hell you could do for this. It's going to be a current day John Cena, and I don't know what you could do. I thought about the Firefly Funhouse match where it went back to like his 2013-14 attire where he had on the lime green and the can't stop me or maybe it was 2014-15 the can't stop me shirt with the updated head sculpt it'd be kind of a trash figure to be honest with you because it'd be pretty much a re-release of the elite 34 with different head sculpt and a little bit different things going on but i don't know it'd be kind of a crappy figure but that's the only thing i could think of but a flashback scene there would be absolutely damn epic next up is roman reigns guys and for roman reigns we already know that it should be very similar to the elite 84 except it should have uh something different a little different it's probably gonna be the same interchangeable head sculpts probably Probably wreck everybody in leaf shirt. If they don't include the shirt, it'll probably come with Universal Championship. Maybe the lay over his neck. That's what I would guess for Roman Reigns. Nothing too different about it because you guys know they like to keep those very similar to what just released because it is basically the top picks line is re-releases in different colors. I mean, that's pretty much what you get. Now, going back into some elites that we already knew about. First up, we have Otis and Asuka, both of these figures. Now, we already knew that we were getting these two and it's very nice to see that these are confirmed. Like, that is excellent. That means that, you know, we have validity. That means that we uh, know what we're talking about and these leaks that we get are very true. So, Asuka and Otis, it's going to be both of their money in the bank attire shirtless Otis very easy to tell Asuka comes with her money in the bank maybe she's going to have her green mist on her face and stuff those are what I'm guessing for both of those next up guys we do have Braun Strowman very simple going to be an updated Braun Strowman bald head sculpt universal championship is what I would guess we already knew we would be getting this next up is going to be Apollo Crews an updated Apollo Crews I would guess that this is going to come with the updated United States championship this should be our first look first time in the line for this U.S. title and that is uh I'm I'm pretty I'm going pretty hardcore on that. I bet it's going to be his red gear U.S. title updated longer beard, probably bald head sculpt. Apollo Crews should look pretty badass. And then the last elite that we already knew about should be an MVP figure that is listed here, and it's either going to be an update or a flashback. I would guess it would probably be the Hurt Business gear in black and gold. Could be possibly his Punisher gear with the black and red, but I would guess that it would be Hurt Business. It just would make the most sense. And Christian even mentioned maybe it'll get a flashback with the Chase variant. Maybe they could give us like an Elite One True Effects head sculpt and have that interchangeable with the flashback figure or something like that, I think that would be really badass. So just some things that I'm thinking of, you could do that with, I don't know. But that is the full Elite set. Now we have more stuff here, so it's not just Elites here, guys. We have some more stuff. And starting out first, guys, we're going to get into these Ultimate Editions. We have two Ultimate Editions right here, and you'll notice that it says Mattel Collectible or something like that. And uh, Christian mentioned that the price points on these are more than Elites. Like they're $35, which is what this website 
releases Ultimates at. So, John Cena 2006, and you guys know I'm already pumped up about this, man. John Cena 2006, that's around, like, my favorite era of Cena. Like, 04 to 07-ish are my favorite gears that he rocked in his entire career. This is sick as shit. John Cena 2006. A lot of different looks you can get. You can get double white armbands. You can get white shoes, black shorts. You can get black shorts, black pants. Tons of different great shirts, tons of hats. I have a lot of them up on my John Cena shelf. But if we could get like, I don't know. I know the first Ultimate Edition John Cena was really good. But you could even do it over the top. Maybe you could come with interchangeable armbands. Because around this time, he would rock chain gang armbands and all white armbands. Maybe you could interchange those and stuff like that. That would be really cool. Maybe a couple hat options different head sculpts. I can't wait to see what this John Cena looks like, what they give us, but uh, I'm definitely going to be grabbing a few of these. Depending on what shirt we get, depending on things like that, I'm definitely going to be grabbing a lot of these, and I think interchangeable armbands that they showed us with the Ultimate Edition the first time around would be a really cool thing to see. And the next Ultimate Edition, guys, is going to be The Rock, and I think just like Christian mentioned in his video, he said that he would like to see an Undisputed Champion Rock. I am the same way. You guys know his first Ultimate Edition was his Attitude Era look, WWF Champion stuff like that. I think that an Undisputed Champion from the early 2000s would be really, really sick, and that would be super badass. You could give us, like, a couple different workout shirts or, you know, sweatpants, workout shirts, sunglasses, Undisputed Championship, maybe even the big gold around this time as well. I mean, there's some different cool things you could do from the early 2000s, The Rock, but I also thought about, I could also see them doing an updated Rock with the Spinner Championship and the 2013 version of the WWE Championship. That is something that I also thought about they, they could do. I wouldn't like that, but you know, it's definitely possible that they could do that. And to round it off, guys, we had all those elites. We had those ultimate additions, but now we have some basics and some battle packs that I want to run through real quick before we get out of here, guys. So let's run through these basics real quick. The first basic that we have, guys, is Dexter Loomis. I know a lot of people are going to be really excited about this Dexter Loomis figure. I actually am not a Dexter Loomis fan, but uh, hopefully his figure is all right. These are basics, by the way. These figures that I'm about to tell you about are basics. Not only do we have Dexter Loomis, guys, but we also have Damian Priest. We already knew a Damian Priest was coming. We did didn't know if it was basic or elite. Turns out it is a basic figure, but hopefully it will be good. Maybe somebody can play with some formulas, put the head sculpt onto an elite, get some decals going, maybe make an elite before the official one comes out. Next up is going to be the Big Show. Now, I don't really know what else you can get out of this. I don't know if it's going to be flashback or current, but Big Show is what it is. We've seen so many in the past. Another one is going to be Kane, which again, I just, you know, I'm not, I don't really care for another Kane basic at this juncture, especially if it's going to be the same Kane mass mode that we've gotten. I'm sure it'll be a more current Kane which I don't care about. Would really like to see a flashback came with a new mask sculpt, but those are things that we, we don't even talk about. Next up is going to be Apollo Crews. Now, Apollo Crews is probably just going to be a basic version of the Elite that we are going to be getting coming very soon. And then the last two basics that we have, guys, are women, and they are Io Shirai and Bailey. So if you guys missed out on the Elite 79 Io Shirai, I would just seek out the Elite because it's damn good, and the Bailey. Like, I don't know why you would want to get a new Io or a new Bailey unless they had new, better head sculpts. I don't know if that's the case right now, so... So I would track down their elites because those figures are really, really good. Don't know if you would want to track down the basics, but there they are. And then last but not least, guys, we do have some battle packs here. And Christian said that battle packs were canceled. I didn't know if battle packs were canceled, and I guess they were re replaced with these championship showdown packs. I never heard that. I never knew that was even a thing, so... I, I guess you learn something new every single day, Brad, but Battle Pack's coming out this year, apparently. We have some updated Uso figures, which I would love to see. Just give us some damn good head sculpts, man. I'm sick of looking at my screaming Jimmy. I want a straight-faced Jimmy that doesn't look awful. So that would be really good to see. An updated Usos. Both their head sculpts look really good. I'd like to put those on my elites on MDT Live. Street Profits. More figures. We've gotten basics of them before. Don't know how I feel about new basics of them. Don't know if I really care about it, but maybe their head sculpts will be improved upon. We have Stone Cold and Mankind. Now this one's a little interesting to me. I don't know what we could get here. Probably be the Royal Rumble Elite Stone Cold head sculpt unless we get a new one. Maybe a Yelling would be pretty cool. And then we have Mankind who, I don't know, hopefully we get a new head sculpt. I mean, that he, that he's used the same head sculpt for a while as well. We have Trish and China. Now, this one's interesting as well. I would guess that the head sculpt that comes on this is probably going to match the Trish Elite. And then the China will probably be a similar head sculpt that we got with one of her two first Elites that we got 
in the, uh, you guys know the WrestleMania figure, and then the DX 2-pack with China and Triple H. Next up is British Bulldog and Boss Man. Now, this is pretty interesting right here. I don't know. Like, it's kind of crazy. These battle packs right here, these champion show, you know, showdown packs or whatever these are going to be are really crazy. Like, these are some pretty, like, like I, I'm loving the flashback battle packs. I, I think those are excellent. I think I'd have more of a chance to pick those up. I think I'd have more of a, a want to to pick those up, really. And then rounding out our battle packs, guys, we have John Cena and Shawn Michaels. Now, this is either going to be from WrestleMania 23 or it's going to be the Raw After Mania where they went battle again. Now, I think they wore the same gear, so it's not a big deal or anything, but I would really like to see elites of these. An elite two-pack of these would be absolutely incredible. But Cena and Shawn Michaels, nonetheless, maybe we'll get a new Shawn Michaels head sculpt. Maybe Cena. I don't know, man. I just, I'd really like to see some Ruthless Aggression elites in this hub. We are getting some, you know, the John Cena 2006 Ultimate Edition is nice. Depending on what these elites end up being, I doubt we get any from the Ruthless Aggression era. But nonetheless, there is Cena and HBK. And then the last battle pack that we have, guys, is Rollins and Drew McIntyre. I would highly, highly, highly predict that this is going to be a Money in the Bank Rollins versus Drew McIntyre from their matchup this past summer. That is what I... I would guess for Rollins and Drew McIntyre. But that is all the leaks that we have guys. Tons and tons of new figures coming our way. A lot of these we did know about but some of them we did not know about and I know a lot of you are going to be thrilled about the new Seth Rollins Thanos gear. For a random shout out here today guys it's going to go to Blaine Official who says MDT makes a sick Goldberg fix up. Me. You got a little something special going on there old man and that's pretty good because you guys know that I always say you got a lot of something special going on there young man but uh, he changed it to old man and I have to appreciate that but we don't make sick Goldberg fix subs because he wears the same damn thing every time and uh i don't know i don't know maybe we could get in here do a little football 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 but anyways guys i'm getting the hell out of here guys thank you so much to blaine official for that comment got a little something special going on there old man but I'm getting the old Al the, the hell out of here. I feel not so good, Brad. So I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Apologize for the late upload again. Maybe we can get something going in the morning. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, you got a little something special going on there. Don't cross the line. You cross the line.